Well, hello there. My name is John Meyer. This week, I'm working on a very new special project, and it's called John Meyer Sounds. I normally try to make my videos more polished, and to be honest, this vlogging thing, holding the camera up, it's very heavy, and I'm just not strong enough to do it. So I'll make this video as quick as I possibly can. I spent all my energy that I would put into polishing up my videos into making this website to share with all of you. And I'm doing it for a handful of reasons. First is on April 23rd, I'm releasing the Meyer Felt and I've been working on some promotional material. I'll show you some of that after we do this little part of the video. The other reason is to share the sounds that I've been making for the past year or so. They've been on my website for a year, but it's been very poorly done. I threw them up there and so many of you have downloaded them and it's been awesome. I thought it would be better to give them a proper home. So I've created this section called prototypes. Now why prototypes? My son and I have been working on this Mark Rober course. Now if you're not familiar with Mark Rober, Mark Rober, he's like the biggest YouTuber on the planet, especially if you have kids you need to be watching it because there are these fast-paced energetic videos about science and education and my kids love it and we like it as parents and so I highly recommend it. You've probably seen the glitter bomb or the squirrel video. If you haven't, those are good places to start. But we're doing this course where he walks through his scientific engineering process and he breaks it down into brainstorming, research, prototypes, and final builds. So I've settled on calling these sounds prototypes. I don't like calling them freebies because prototypes feels more true to what they were. They were my attempt at creating something without thinking that I was going to sell them or monetize them. And I made them for myself. There's a line in my description down here, which I'm going to eventually change because there's just too much words. There's my face, I look kind of creepy and mad. Anyways, the line says, my goal has always been to capture my sounds in my room with my microphones for use in my productions. It has been a great joy of mine to see and hear these very personal sounds resonate with so many of you. And that's so true. I mean, I figured out a long time ago that there are so many great sounds out there and I can't compete. I certainly can't, I'm not gonna call up the BBC Orchestra and create a sample pack for you all, right? But I can use my sounds in my room, my microphones, and, and EQ things the way I want, place them the way I want, perform them the way I want, and get sounds that work for me. And if I do that at the most personal level, I found that many of you resonate with those. And hopefully it's inspired you, many of you to create your own sounds. So if you click on to download prototypes, or you can click on this picture, that takes you to a page where you can preview all of these sounds. And it's a work in progress at this point. I've got the Antiquarian Echo, which is one of my favorite sounds from my chorus echo and in a custom guitar. And there's two images here. You can click on the second one and you can listen. It's probably not gonna sound very good through the mic here, but I tried to perform them in the most simple way possible and for the Antiquarian Echo, I held out one chord because the magic of that sound is that it takes a long time to develop. I didn't add any additional EQ or compression. I did limit things to make sure it didn't get out of control. This is a work in progress. I'm gonna to continue to make demos for the rest of these so that you can figure out exactly what it sounds like without having to watch my long YouTube videos, although they are linked right there. I've gotta work on my cool transition there. You can tell the camera's very heavy and it's shaking. I've added a pay what you want feature. Now, these sounds are still free, but if you want to throw in a few bucks, that would be appreciated. I would definitely accept that from you. Now, I have a favor to ask of you. I need to figure out if this works well. Even if you have these sounds, I'd appreciate it if perhaps you pick one. And what might be nice is if you pick your favorite sound that you've downloaded over the past year and re-download it through the site. I don't have any way to track who downloaded what for the past year, so it's hard for me to know what is the most popular. But now with this new software, I can tell, okay, everybody's downloading this plugin. So that'll give me, a, oh, I gotta switch arms. I'm seriously not strong enough to hold the camera. But this way I can get a better idea as to what people are resonating with and I can focus more attention on those types of sounds. I'd also like to hear your experience about the process of downloading the sounds, receiving the emails. It seems pretty safe on my end. I wanna make sure that whatever you're doing on your end makes you feel comfortable to want to come back and download sounds in the future. If you want to comment about the process, please do that in the comments section of this video. I do appreciate the support. I'm going to go rest my arm because it's killing me. And I'll close this video by showing you some of the footage that I've been working on to help promote the Meyer Felt. Talk to you next week.